Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. It was a beautiful winter day here across Acadiana as we had mostly sunny skies. Temperatures a little bit on the cool side where they should be for this time of year in the 60s. But now high clouds starting to move over Acadiana and those clouds look to be sticking with us. We might not see the sun again until maybe next Sunday. So hopefully you got out there and enjoyed that sunshine while it lasted. And in between, we're also going to have the chance for some showers making their way back into Acadiana. Looking at the big picture, we're going to start with the water vapor. And that's where we can see that subtropical jet starting a little bit more active. And that's what's bringing that cloud cover over top of Acadiana and that's going to be the flow over the next week or so. So we're going to have plenty of this moisture coming out of the eastern Pacific right and across Mexico and right over top of Acadiana, which is going to keep us socked in the clouds over the next week or so. So as I mentioned, I don't expect a whole lot of sunshine. It may be other than just some dull sunshine getting through some of those high clouds over the next week as we'll continue to just have plenty of moisture in the mid and upper levels streaming over across Acadiana. Now at the surface, what we're watching is we got a warm front beginning to develop now out in the Gulf of Mexico and overnight that'll begin to lift up over top, bringing with it warmer conditions. But you can see already a few scattered showers beginning to develop just out ahead of that down around the Grand Isle area and Homa. Those will slowly begin to lift up through the overnight and bring us those showers by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. So here's how the model plays it pretty much dry through midnight, but I won't be surprised if we get some stray showers at least working in the St. Mary Parish by 10 11 o'clock this evening around 3 o'clock. That's when the model is going for at least some decent showers beginning to push into central Acadiana, even up into Lafayette and over into St. Martin Parish. They'll be scattered through the overnight should make for some great sleeping weather this evening. Waking up tomorrow morning, some decent showers will be on the radar first thing with some wet ground. So make sure you're tuned into GMA for Daniel Phillips with the latest on this activity moving in as you head off to school and work tomorrow morning. Have that rain gear with you now by 930 start to get in a little bit more breaks and that continues through about lunchtime, but still maybe an isolated shower will continue through the afternoon, but definitely showers will begin to wind down during the second half of the day. And then if you are making the drive down to New Orleans for the championship game tomorrow evening, looks relatively dry and with that southerly flow temperatures will actually be warming up and pretty much holding steady in the upper 60s. Here's our other model shows that warm front lifting up a little better coverage of the showers tomorrow morning, so we'll definitely have a decent chance for some hit or miss showers first thing tomorrow morning continuing through about lunchtime, but definitely beginning to decrease as we head closer to the afternoon. And then as that front lifts more north, the shower activity will be up towards Alexandria and beyond warmer temperatures moving in for the evening and continuing with us. Good bit of fog moving into Tuesday morning, but we'll start off dry as that front turns over to a stationary front to the north. That'll then begin to sag a little bit south, so better chance for some showers in northern Acadiana come Tuesday afternoon, but I won't rule out a few more here in Acadiana with temperatures making their way into the 70s. As for the rain fall over the next 24 hours. Or go with anywhere from a half to maybe an inch of rain if you get some of those heavier showers to ride over top your area. But again, not looking at any flooding concerns and shouldn't be too much of an issue. Temperature wise will actually warm through the overnight, getting into the upper 50s to near 60 degrees along the interstate. Make our way into the upper 60s tomorrow afternoon, then pretty much hold steady through tomorrow night into Tuesday morning, and then really see those temperatures warm up by Tuesday afternoon as we're back into the mid 70s, feeling very much like spring for the rest of the work week. So increasing clouds tonight. And and then showers developing after midnight, continuing through tomorrow morning. As I mentioned, we'll get down to around 53 by midnight, but then we'll warm into the upper 50s by tomorrow morning. Those showers continue through the first half of the day, but end by lunchtime. Otherwise, it'll be mostly cloudy and mild through the day. Temperatures getting to near 70 degrees during the afternoon. Mid to upper 70s all week long with the best chance for showers the first half of the week. We'll still keep an isolated shot come Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but definitely looks to be on the drier side for those days. And then moving into next week, and we'll have a front come through on Saturday, and that brings some winter-like temperatures as we move into the second half of the weekend and into next week with 50s for several days and 40s. So if you've been not enjoying the warmer temperatures and waiting for this cooler weather, it looks like we get it coming. And it's been a pretty day so far after the severe storms. It just kind of was night yeah, and day. Yeah, it's kind of that calm after the storm, yeah. and, but now we're going to kind of head back into a little bit of an unsettled pattern. And also my birthday is this week, so how is it looking for January 17th, a it's, Friday? It's going to be warm. <laughs> it might be a little muggy, but okay. overall not too bad. Well, that's good. All yeah. right, thank you, Eric.